So I felt like I was the victim of a date rape and I conceived the child from the situation and I took a DNA test to prove it. I'm sure you are aware of that you're accused of rape. I am now. Okay. And I was chatting on the internet and this guy approached me. Uh, she calls me and said, uh, I need to talk to you. I'm having some problems with some things. Can you come and get me? We decided we wanted to get some alcohol, so we went to a liquor store and got some alcohol. Got her a couple of coolers. I got me some brandy. We rolled a little bit more. She said, well, I don't want to keep riding around. What else can we do? I said, well, shoot. I said, you want to go play in the water? She said, what's that? I said, well, we can get a jacuzzi with some cow gun and bubbles. She said, OK. We got in a jacuzzi, and the rest of the night, I don't remember. And before I know it, the first time, we're doing it in a jacuzzi. Have you ever been with the man before? Or no. This was the first time you ever been with the man? Yes. He knew I was a lesbian, and he knew about my girlfriend. Then we get in the bed, and we do it three more times in the bed. Oh, come on. Damn. We do it three more. Come we're on. Do it. Wait, they call, wait a second. You know, she was really into so it. So you say you did it like four times? Once in the jacuzzi, then three on the bed. Come on. You know if you're going to go to a hotel room with a man that you just met, over the internet, you really didn't think that there was a possibility that you might engage in some sexual activity? No, there's no way that I gave this man consent to have sex with me. I don't believe that. And you certainly I would want, you certainly would want that. your girlfriend to believe that, right? Was, was she drunk? No, she'd only drunk a cooler and a half. Did you drug her? No. And the only thing that she, I'm saying, that when I dropped her off, the only thing that she was concerned about is what are you gonna do with the rest of them coolers? <laughs> <laughs> and he yeah. took a DNA test and a lie detector test, right? Mm -hmm. And you also did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I guess her girlfriend, Sierra, is here. And she wants to come out and confront you. Let's bring her out. I'm the one who took her virginity. She's never been with the man. My baby got my last name. She don't got your last name. She has she my last name. She... Eric, you took a, a DNA test with the baby, your child. And the results of that DNA test is take a look at that little girl because she's yours. Oh. I'm so Eric was asked, did you drug Nicole, causing her to lose consciousness? He answered, no. Did you have sex with Nicole while she was unconscious? He answered, no. Did Nicole consent to having sex with you? And he answered, yes. He has told the truth. <laughs> The results for Nicole's lie detector test. Did you have consensual sex with Eric? You answered no. Did you fabricate the story about Eric because you thought that Sarah would leave you? And you answered no. The results of your lie detector test are you didn't tell the truth. <laughs> that was kind of a, a very interesting story. It's a story that really we've never done before. What's happened since the show? Well. After I left the show, I was really fatigued at the, what had transpired and accusations that was made against me. And I really didn't want to have nothing to do with it for a while. She had called me and called me two, three weeks, sending me emails. I'm sorry, can we talk? Can I make it up? She wanted me to be a part of a, a, a life. Well, at that one point, I was like, well, I cannot be a part of that because you got this triangle and I'm not gonna be involved in any of that. With her being still involved with Sierra. With Sierra, correct. Well, she said, I'm ending that. I mean, it's over. I said, well, I said, I learned something when I was on the show that you know you had her name tattooed on your arm. She said, I'm changing that, I'm getting it removed. She said, can we come to Louisville and see you? Would you send for us? So I sent her a ticket, I flew her to Louisville. We, I started seeing her, I got to start seeing my daughter and I really got to sit down and talk with her and see what is these changes that you, you know, you saying? She said, well, I done ended the relationship with her. I don't want to do it no more. She said, I really want to go back and do the right thing. I said, well, you can talk that, but you have to show it. Well, she showed me uh, that she had first had the, the tattoo removed on her arm. So then we started spending time. She wanted to get to know my family. I really enjoyed spending time with my daughter. I really, you know, I mean, she took my heart. So, I mean, I start doing for her. We started spending a lot of time. We even started rekindling the relationship where we got intimate again. Then she come one day and says, I really want to show you that I'm changed. She went and got my name tattooed on her. So she was like, I said, are you sure that you're done with that? She was like, yes. So uh, we started just to kind of work on each other. You know, we started taking time and, you know, it was a, a process because a lot of things had happened, you know, to transpire and try to mend those wounds. 
I mean, it's pretty shocking because after that show, I never would have imagined that the two of you would have got together. Well, I guess maybe you two. I wouldn't have imagined it. I, I got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm a little caught off guard. You know, when hearing that story, having you on the show, I mean, we can have a laugh and a smile about it now, but I mean, it did come on. You accused them of rape, a uh, pretty serious allegation. You were on the show last time, you were a lesbian, right? Mm -hmm. And now you're, uh, what, what would you say your feelings are towards him? Do you love him? I love him as my child's father. Is there anything you want to say to him? There's no relationship. It's, it can't be a relationship because the feelings are not there for a relationship. Well, you said it mixed emotions again. It wasn't mixed emotions. I told you that I would give you a fair shot. When we came to Kentucky, that's what I did. The three days that we spent together, that's what I was doing. You didn't know I was doing it, but in my mind, that's what I was doing. Like, okay, we're spending all this time together doing the family thing. This is what it would be like to be with him. And it just, there's, there's no feelings there. There's no relationship feelings there. Were you sleeping with him? No. So you didn't have sex with him? No. Just the one time when you conceived your child? Yeah. Well, it was four times, he's saying. But none after that? No. Did you sleep with her when she came to Kentucky? Yeah. No. We did not sleep together. We was just together every day. <laughs> just based on the show we did before with you, I, I'm wondering, are you lying now? I mean, you, you lied about the rape, you lied about, you know, being with them, everything else, and now, he tells the story, hey, you, you're the one that reached out to him. You come up, he's saying, hey, I, I'm giving her a chance. She wants to try to work this out. He's saying he's having, you did have sex with her? Yes, I put that on my shorty. Don't put that on now, my baby. You know, you even, like I said, went to the fact that you wanted to cover that name up, turn around, if you show the audience, you put my name tattooed on your neck. I mean, what was all that? Did you, did you do that? Yes. And, and the name, covering Sierra's name up was, it had nothing to do with you. It had everything to do with the fact that Did you put his name we, on? Yes. Well, if you don't have feelings for him, why would you put <laughs> his name on? He has to be in my life because of our child. Right. That's all it was. It, it had nothing to do with any type of relationship feelings. Did you sleep with him again and tell the truth? No. I'm gonna give you another chance to tell the truth. Did you sleep with them? No. Let, let me ask you a question. Did you put your daughter's name on you? Mm hmm you, So you got your daughter's name too? Mm-hmm, right, right there. Okay, so it's like your daughter who you love very much, right? Mm-hmm. And you had Sarah's name on you? Mm-hmm. And you loved her very much? Mm-hmm. And again, why would you put his name on? Because he asked me to do it, and that's my child's father. So if you, if you ask me to put your name on me, I tell it's you no. It's different. It's different. <laughs> the fact that he's always going to be my child's father. I love him for that, but there's no relationship there. Me and Sierra did you were sleep over. With, did you sleep with him? Yes. Okay, then. Yes, me and Nicole haven't talked, haven't been around for about four months. Actually, just started talking again. But in the meantime of us talking again, I actually got in contact with her. Check up on her and the baby, see how things were going. Tattoo thing, didn't know about. She didn't tell me about it. Yes, I was actually thinking about getting back with her. I actually had something planned. But that just changed my whole mind frame only because she lied to me once again. I mean, I'm an easy person to get along with. I'm an easy person. What did person. she lie to you about? What was she telling you? The sex part. I simply asked her, you know, have you had sex any time that we were apart? She told me no, not since you, and that was like April. So I'm like, okay. Then I see this, and the off rip, I believe him. If I were you, I would take some time and really figure out who and what you want out of life. That's what I've done. And just, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. And just focus on being a good parent. 
Okay.